Hi everyone, this is Jimmy Young in Instructional Technology at Oklahoma Baptist University and today I'm going to show you how to connect your iPad to the Apple TVs using the new iOS 7. It's the new operating system that uh, uh, works on the uh, iPads and, and iPhones. It's the new Apple mobile operating system. It, was, uh, it came out in September of 2013 and connecting to uh, an Apple TV is a little bit different with the new iOS. So I'm going to give you that tutorial. So um, we have Apple TVs uh, in many of the classrooms connected to the projectors. And uh, one of the important things to know about that is that you, the, uh, your iPad or your iPhone has to be connected to the same wireless network in order to connect to the Apple TVs in the classroom. And uh, by default, we are uh, all on the same wireless network as uh, staff of o Oklahoma Baptist University. We have the Wi-Fi the employee Wi-Fi. So you've probably already connected to that and you're already set up for that so you won't have to worry about that. I'm going to close the settings and uh, so if you're on the same wireless network you're already set up uh, to connect to the Apple TVs. Uh, the way you do it in iOS 7 it, to connect to the Apple TV to get to the AirPlay protocol is you swipe up with your finger. Put your finger on the very bottom of your iPad and swipe up and you get this uh, new command center and notice that there's an, an AirPlay uh, section down at the bottom. Click on that and you'll see a list of all the Apple TVs that are available on campus and you should actually you'll see only the ones that are available in the building where you're at. So this is showing SH for Shawnee Hall and right now we're in Shawnee Hall 310. I'm going to click on that and uh, if I mirror my iPad, which the, the green means that I'm mirroring everything that's on my screen to the projector right now. If I'm just showing a video, it's better to not mirror, uh, to turn that off, and then you'll see the video will show will fill the screen. If you're doing something like demonstrating an app, uh, or just wanting to show a, a, your students everything that you're doing on your iPad, you need to mirror the screen. So, for right now, we're going to mirror it. So I've I've done that, and um, I'm going to click on. Um, the screen once and that gets rid of that uh, menu and I click on it again and the command center goes back down or I could swipe down and that would get rid of it. Uh, so now I'm going to choose an app that I wanted to demonstrate and I can see it on my screen. Now let's look at what's going on on our uh, projector screen. We don't see it yet because this projector in this classroom probably like all of the projectors in all the classrooms uh, by default are probably set to show the video from the laptops through the VGA connection. So I'm going to use the uh, remote for the projector in the classroom to change the source. Uh, your projector remote might look a little different, might be a little bit processed, but the, same, the thing you do is change your source. So I'm going to click on the source button and uh, we're going to toggle through until we get to the HDMI source. That's the one you want to choose. Um, the Apple TVs are connected to HDMI and that sends the video and the audio through the wireless. So now you'll hear the audio from the projector if you've got if you're showing students a video or some kind of uh, app that has audio in it. So now we're seeing the same thing that we see on our um, iPad screen we see on the projector and I can manipulate it and do anything that I'm doing with my app on with my finger on the screen I can see up on the on the projector screen. 